we're ready. We're just, I just couldn't see you. Okay. I started X39 in March, right after Dr. Harmon did. And the reason he came and saw me is he knew I had torn my meniscus and had surgery. And the insurance wouldn't cover the surgery because I had probably a half an inch of really bad arthritis, but the rest of my knee was clean. And they wanted to do a full knee replacement, and I said, over my dead body. <laughs> and so I had the surgery and paid cash for it. And when my husband talked to the doctor after, he said, I don't think it worked. The arthritis was so bad, she's going to be in pain. However, a couple days after my surgery, Dr. Harmon called me and said, I want to talk to you about something. I'm on my way over. And he actually came to my home and stuck a patch on my knee. And I am so grateful for that because my husband never told me the doctor said he didn't think the surgery was going to work. And you should have seen his face when I went in at five weeks and my knee was in no pain at all. My stitches basically had healed themselves and he had to pull them out of completely healed skin and I could walk like you wouldn't believe. And, and what a blessing that has been in my life when they told my husband that the surgery wouldn't work. But here's the crux of it all. I have something called Arnold Chiari malformation and it's a brain problem and I have had brain surgery. And it's been eight years since my surgery. I didn't even realize immediately, but within about two weeks I realized I went from a person who could maybe shower and get one or two things done a day to doing 20 things again like I did before my brain surgery. The neurologist told me that would never happen. They literally said, this is your life from now on. I'm in my mid-50s. I didn't want that life. So all of a sudden, two weeks into it, I could drive, I could remember where I was going, I could do work on my desk. My 19-year-old son, who has only known me with brain problems since he was eight or nine, because it took a while to figure out what was wrong, actually said to me one day, Mom, you're actually smart, and it's a little scary. <laughs> she actually has a very high IQ, and I know that much about her. I did, and then yeah. I didn't, and now it's coming back. So it's been yeah. really fun and probably the greatest blessing in my life, truly. Yeah. And I've watched you go through that, um, the brain fog, and then you've turned back to, and I didn't know you prior to, but what you described before. And can, I, can I talk just a little bit about? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. She um, came into me for some other, for some things, um, and I used my cold lasers, and we had these discussions about, she was complaining about how bad her brain was since her surgery. And I've watched her transform into, you know, someone who just carries on this long conversation and gets so much stuff. I saw you drive today. We went over to D1 Training Center. We did a presentation over there. So I'm just confirming what um, she is. She just said that's really, really um, rewarding to me personally to see the results of that little visit that I made over to your house that, hey, so you know, when I had just gotten started, I didn't know they were going to work so well myself. It's, uh, it's been great, a great, great journey together. And so as far as how it's affecting your life now, you're able to go up and down the stairs well, no problems. I can walk up the stairs and you would never know I had knee surgery. You, you would have no idea. I, I can actually do almost everything I used to do. I even noticed, I had a photographic memory before my brain surgery, and I've even noticed that starting to come back a little wow. bit. That's really incredible. Rebecca, thank you so much for uh, sharing your story and just continue healing, and we'll catch up around maybe in a few months on your, your photographic memory. That's the plan.